Hey guys, uh, welcome for another tutorial. So today we're gonna um, make body shapes. We're gonna learn how to make a body shape, a detailed body shape actually. So if you need any questions, you can contact me on Facebook, the MVU group, or my MVU page. I already know that from all the previous ones. And don't forget, of course, if the first time you're watching, we're still adding some tutorials to this list. We're gonna eventually have tutorials to make everything um, in MVU that we need. So. With that, with that said, let's get started. So what we have here is our 3D Max. I'm using 2010. So what you're gonna do is, I'm just gonna open um, my MV reference, my female. I have to have a copy over here for some reason. So my female within Pose Master, right? This one. There we have our skinny lady. I'm just gonna add some views over here. There we go. I'm gonna press F3 and F4 so I can actually see the mesh itself and the segments. So, what is to make a body shape? For the first of all, uh, we, we're not gonna need any of those parts as well. So, the first thing we actually gonna do is gonna select what's going to be the body shape itself and we're going to press ALT Q on the keyboard and there we have it we're going to enter as you can see here we're going to enter isolation mode and you can just drag that to any corner it will be just fine Okay. there we have it so wh when we're making a body shape the first thing we need to do is what we're going to change of course we're going to change the ass itself, the boobs Maybe because it's a woman, as normal people complain, the arms are too thick for a woman <laughs> arms, and that's actually true. But so that's the things we we will change by adding just simply some of the pieces by adding just some um, geometry to it. Let's get started. We we start by, for example, removing the physics. Let's just remove the physics of. of those parts, by removing the physics you just, you know, press the mesh itself uh, you come over here and you press this icon over here this trash can with the physics actually selected and there we have it, we get rid of it now with then we press for example the chest over here and we're gonna press this button over here the attach button over there and with that selected, we're gonna actually press all the pieces we want to. And let's get out of there. Now we have our body shape. I'm not gonna worry about too much to be it because we don't actually need to move it anywhere in specific. So now, um, for example, uh, when we're making body shape, there's nothing wrong with not adding detail to your mesh. Now people are talking and using those new body, even including myself, my own, uh, with more detail, of course. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach here, is make a body shape with detail. Detailed. What I mean by detail, basically, is more segments, you know, there's like more quads, let's say like that, something like that. You know, make segments to make this look more roundy and shiny. <laughs> so, for example, how are we going to start this? For example, we're going to start by selecting the entire Oh, this is this is good. Why this is happen? Why uh, this is actually happening? Why I cannot select those segments? This is happening because before we actually, you know, when we attach the mesh itself, in here actually there is two vertex on top of this vertex itself. As you can see here, there is two vertex in here. So this is actually not one mesh itself yet, because before it was separated. So to fix this, just you can actually just select everything in here and just press weld with the vertex mode selected let's close this subdivision over here and just press weld over here and as you noticed the number of vertex you can see the vertex you have selected right over here they went down which means we weld some vertex that was on top of each other and this case was around probably around here and this area is right over here they had overlapping vertex this way now we have only one mesh selected 
and we can do the test by pressing now the element and when we press element now as you can see we actually selecting the entire element itself and not just by one you know one part of it so what we're going to do now we actually actually we're going to select we're going to press element select all the element keep pressing control and press polygons what it means we actually select the selection from the element to the polygon uh, selection and we actually want to deselect some parts of the mesh itself so by keep pressing alt I keep pressing alt and I sh click and drag and I can actually deselect those vertex you can actually do this by pressing control one by one as well or by pressing alt as we don't want to have any mesh that touch this side of here at least this is the way I work and I don't think there's nothing wrong with this just make things more easy for us now in here we want to select this area over here this is the way I'm gonna do in this tutorial ah, something around here and take this over here as well make sure just the mesh that touches the end parts of the body shape not anything else we're actually gonna do the same right over here at the end because I'm pretty sure at the end it's just this big hole, there we go big faces right there now with this mesh select the way I show here for example now the reason why we're not selecting this is so it matches the end it doesn't glitch around over here so we don't actually have to make an end an end end uh, to fix this so with this side it means that those vertices will stay here those in this case, one, two, three, four, five vertex will stay here. Six, sorry, six vertex will stay there, and um, what that means is it will fit perfectly in the end. In this case, it will fit perfectly in the feet, so we don't have trouble. In this case, the add, and I, I, I took those ones out. So when we smooth this out, so what happens sometimes is when we're smoothing this part, you kind of get glitchy, kind of get bad. It doesn't look like an neck, uh, a neck at all. So the best way is to actually take all the neck the neck out actually as well, so we don't mess up things up there. So with this side now, what we how we can smooth this out? Now that we have our selection, we have here mesh smooth over here, this little button right there. We press the settings option, and as you can see now, we have way more interactions. We have way more mesh. As you can see here now, the ma the neck is not breaking at all. We get this get straight there, and as you can see here, in the top ends of this mesh, you can see as well that the points stay there, and the mesh actually finds a way to fit in there. Even if we get some triangles over here, it's it's alright. As you can see itself, the rest of the mesh is actually pretty neat, pretty smoothness mesh over here. We even lost that seam edge that we were having. In this case, it was around here. We even lost that seam edge we're having, and now we have this very smooth kind of mesh. Well, you can actually make this even more smooth by applying different kind of smoothness, if if that's what you're looking for. I find I'm gonna cancel over here so I can show you. I find mesh smoothing to be remember do not close our selection. Except you can have even turbo smooth, for example. I think super smooth works in here as well. Kind of the same, but in this case we can actually raise interaction. As you can see, we have a very very but this is applying to all the mesh we actually have to make a mesh selection to just apply to the faces we want to but as you can see tuber smooth here is applying so much detail for your view we don't need this kind of detail it's already too much all we need are three it's just this uh, let me close this let's open up actually all we need is really this mesh mesh smooth thingy those and it press OK. There we have it. Now we have our mesh with more detail, like those new meshes around. And nothing was not that hard now to make the shape itself. It's not that hard and complex. Now, now something you need to know about is when you're making a body shape. Of course, you're gonna have layers after, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do layers after as well. So wh what's gonna happen is. In the hip, around the hip, the hip, no, the, the waist, sorry. 
can happen if, if you make um, a different kind of waste and you only sell, let's say, someone buy your bottoms with, let's say, sh shape L, in this case, let's say, shape, shape L, and your waste is kind of larger than the normal, you know, uh, body shapes around the MVU. What's going to happen is, if the guy that bought you, or the person, <laughs> the guy's kind of bad to say, <laughs> if the, the person that bought you the bottom pieces uh, buys a different type, of top, not your L-shaped top, but X top. What's going to happen is in the in the waist, you're going to see some not seamless. You're going to see not not seamless. What I mean is like cutting. You will see space between them. They will not fit. And that's because you made a different waist. So that's why some measures sometimes have a huge ass, and they don't have any waist movement. That's because they they are scared of. You know, your the mesh doesn't fit the other meshes. So this is something you have to keep in mind. If you're gonna make a body shape that it will only be a body shape, for example, just for skirt layers, like I did my night shape, for just skirt layers, um but you will never sell separately. You can you can put them separated, but it, they will only fit perfectly with each other. The the shape L will only fit with the shape L, not with L and X. This is something you have to understand when making a body shape. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually change the waist itself a little bit. But remember that by changing the waist, you can have trouble after matching other body shapes that other devs made, because the shape, oops, the sh <laughs> because the waist really changes thing all things fix with each other when making a body shape. So remember that, make sure you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you the diff both ways how to make without changing the waist itself and how to actually make changing the waist itself because I like to actually work by changing the waist. And to make to change the waist, let me just clear the straws over here. So I'm going to show you, for example, I'm going to do a selection around over here. What I'm going to do is a selection, you know, something like this. I'm going to select those polygons over here. And then I'm going to apply a modifier called FFD modifier. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull those control points and I'm going to make like, you know, something that comes from there and actually gives, you know, a little bit more waste, something like this, you know. By simply doing this. So let's, let's get started then. So I'm going to go on my face polygons selection. Actually make sure I'm selecting. Let's go to the the front view over here. We can work in the wireframe, no worries. We're gonna select something from here. So actually make sure you don't have ignore back facing on this option over here. Make sure it's like like, like I have mine off. So you can select the back of it. I'm pressing F3 and F4 again here. So now I'm selecting. I keep pressing control and drag. And I'm gonna select about over here, you don't need to be very precise, uh, as long as you have every everything in the middle over here and the top over here, of course. I'm pressing F2 to make them, you know, kind of bright, so I can see what uh, actually what I'm selecting. And I think my, my selection is pretty good, so I'm gonna just go Alt W. This what I'm doing is Alt W with the perspective view selected or any other view uh, that I want to, and I can see here that it looks it's looking pretty good for me. You you're gonna have this part. You don't need to make the selection perfect. As I can see, I'm not even making the selection perfect down here because we're not gonna actually change that much over there, there, down there. So to start modifying the body now, what we're gonna do is with the faces selected, in the is still in the edit poly. If you if you don't if you're not using the dark um, layout for 3D Max, probably this will be yellow. In my case, it gets like this, I don't know, this blue dark gray color. It means I'm in edit poly mode, which which it is exactly what we want to. And then by pressing this arrow over here, we're gonna go to modifiers, and we're gonna have this FFD, and we're gonna have the four, 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 four FFD modifier, and we get this box now with this control points over here. This is actually where we're gonna start shaping our body shape with, again, with a different waist than the normal waist itself to actually make one with the same waist. The selection, instead of the selection being over here, your selection should be under the waist, you know, kind of a little bit to the waist, I think the waist is around here. So your selection will be the line of faces, not the line 
right under the selection but the line a little one line under the selection of the waist itself so instead of changing this area you will only be change changing this area over here and the waist will be exactly the same so with this said for example now we go to control points we don't actually want to touch this one as you can see if you touch this one it's kind of messed up things very good up there we actually did this selection so we can actually have power over this action over here so if we just drag a little bit over here as you can see now while, while I'm pulling out my waist is kind of getting bigger my waist is definitely opening now as as you can see and I'm getting even more hips as well now this is with FFD44 this is where we start now if you want to have more detail control over this selection what you can do is well, let's take this FFD out still with the faces selected and we can actually go to an FFD box only what this makes you do is this, there is actually an option over here in the dimensions that we can actually set number points like this option right over here and what I mean by this we have length within and we can actually now add points to this for example let's say I want to make an 8 8 by 8 there you go 8 8 8 now I have way too much control Example less over here because we're not gonna actually need that many over here. Let's take four over here, it'll be fine. Now, as you can see, and he, we have now way more control over our mesh. If you'd like, for me, I found FFD for fine. Go into our frame and control points with that selected, and we actually can just you know play a little bit now if you want to have the same value exactly as this value value over there so what happens is in this slide we're playing with negatives and this side we're playing with positives so I have 120 whatever meters positive so I just control C you know to copy or I can just right click and copy and then I select those vertices like the same vertices of this one and make sure I have the minus over there and I just paste and press enter and now we have the same the same um, control over here. Now, as you can see, now we just with by using a simple modifier, we will be able to make the waist and the hip itself more curvy and bigger than it was before. That was very too skinny with the default type. We can now, now we even have a more controls over here. We can now even raise this as long as you want. I don't be careful when playing with this too much. So now, when we are done with this and we say yeah I like the waist but I want to change the ass a little bit more I want to have more control over my ass only specifically because I like how everything else is looking at as you can see now we have really this kind of ASTP shape so on top of this we still with the same faces so like we never want to take the faces out and we want to add an edit poly on top of everything else and we press faces and we still have the same faces selected and what we want to do is we keep pressing ALT and shift dragging and we take few selection around over here and we're gonna make a selection just around over here in this ass you know kind of going along the line I'm just fine <laughs> trying to find the reference point over here so I don't actually change what I want, don't want to change but okay let's make around over here and selection up here. Let's just make a round here. here. There. Kind of. Oh, move that a little bit. Yeah, when you selection. Uh, well, I, I was using and I was already giving bad examples. When I, when we select, when we're using this tool over here, the transform, of course, you already know this, and move tool, we can actually do some movements without even noticing. It can be dangerous, like I did just right there. If I haven't noticed, I will have my, match my mesh in a position that we're not supposed to be without even knowing so when you select selection selecting make sure you have this option on so this way I can just you know even click and drag and nothing just happened it's just selection as you have here now let's just select this part over here and now on top of this we're gonna add an FFT on top and you're gonna go press the FFT modifier control points 
we press a control, make sure we have the control points on. Then we're going to select, for example, let's say those six guys over here and just drag them. As you can see over here, it's destroying a little bit, so just select those ones. This is something you have to understand. Never work too much with the selection of this one, because this one is where we have the selection. As you can see here, it's screws up stuff. So just example those two over here, perfect for me. You can, you can even make the hip a little bit bigger over here, and I don't want to change too much the hip. The hip, no, the the tie there. So you know, no, I'm just making this kind of. Can just pull this. And I'm just playing with the ass a little bit. You know, I'm we're getting some nice frondy ass over there. We have a big waist, a bigger waist. Now we have a bigger ass. I just pull a little bit more. Yeah. Just this is when you will eventually play, and again, if you think this, I'm making a huge ass right there, but oh well, this is just I'm not gonna worry too much about it. You can even now in this point control here. You can even just select tho those two, for example, and you know move just one side. I don't just I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with that. Just for the tutorial, I think this is so you understand the concept of it behind it. There we go. Now we have started with this skinny, and then we applied one FFD with the selection. We make this, and then we put an edit poly on top of that. So this selection, this w this modifier, won't change. So on top of that, we add another one, and then we applied the S itself. And be very careful when you know making this stuff. If you want to change something on this one, I don't recommend going here and change it now. You have to delete all those tabs. So make sure you have everything, you know, correctly done before you putting it in an edit poly and another FFT. When you're happy, I'm gonna say I'm happy with the result over here. For example, the legs over here, if you want to change the legs, you can actually do the same by just keeps using the FFT on the body itself. Even if you're not happy with the Ace, the waist over here, you can just keep you know playing around until you're happy with your mesh by applying FFD to every part of the body you want to. Just make sure you're not using the top controls of your selection because that will screw up things up. So make sure you're using you know these controls over here, give you that power control that you need. With that said, when you're happy with the result, all you have to do is on the top of here, you can actually press right click and you have this option over here, collapse all, and just press that. And in yours, probably a message can show up. You can put all the S and make sure it doesn't show up again because he, he, he's he, 3D Max warning you that it will collapse and you will lose the controls, kind of losing the ability to change. Now, as you can see, now we have our uh, shape completely different than before. Okay, see so we are now we have our shape done. Basically, that's it. How to change your body shape? It's not that hard, is it? Oh, of oh, almost forgetting the boobs. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> to actually modify the boobs, uh, it's actually the same process, but I'm going to show you. So we want to grow the selection, grow, grow, grow from the tip on there. To very careful in your I'm gonna show you just you know, some selection option you can actually do. It's gonna select like something around here. I want to overextend too much out of my boob selection, but I want to have okay, a little bit out. So we can have some control over there as in here maybe we should not not just too much. Here in the middle make sure they're not connected, but we want to have this here. If the texture uh, is be begging you and you don't like, like I do, I don't like to work with the texture in here of the MView, just come here to the material by pressing M and just grab a default one and just, oops, make sure you're not selecting anything <laughs> out of your poly and just drag on top of your. Mesh. And there you go. Gonna maybe select over here now. 
I don't know, something like this. Maybe select those ones over here. Okay, maybe select those ones. So we compensate over there. You know, I'm just, you know, we just work a little bit and find the best selection you like. I'm just doing here a random one so I can try give an idea of what we actually gonna do here. And then exactly the same process, apply an FFD. Then we go on around this angle and go to the control points and select for example all of this on top of here and then you just drag them. As you notice, it's getting getting like those corn effect. And to fix this, you just, you know, select those ones over here and pull them in the Z axis. Now this one's and we're starting to have more round boobs, not too much outside. If not happy, you can just even select the ones in the middle over here and just drag a little bit so we get more round boobs. Now, this is what I want to show you. This is what happens when you extract with a bad selection. Like the one we have right here. So this is important about a selection when you selecting what is going to happen to be extruded. As you can see here, I did a bad selection. What happened is, in the middle of here, it's actually, you know, kind of destroying my mesh. Kind of making the boobs look funny. Now, if we take this FFT out now, and let's fix this selection. Maybe we, we, we really want to select around over here. So we select, oops, around over here. Maybe we select this area so we have more control. Like, you know, making a top effect, kind of. And maybe we want to have this areas right over here. Select everything over here. It should be fine now. We select like a top kind of effect. And now let's try this again. Press this ones, we drag them out. As you can see, we have still a little bit of... But then we're going to fix this. I'm going to show you how to fix this. So just, you know, drag a little bit out. You know, play with them, make them a little bit more round by just, you know, doing this kind of movement up and down. Now this one, be very careful when you're playing with the inside ones. Of course, we want to have an effect over here that we can actually add after in the edit poly itself. You know, this is a way of you playing with your boobs of the mesh. Make them bigger like this, more roundy. You have very big boobs right now. <laughs> and still looks kind of messy around here. Let me just add my material back. And of course we have <laughs> selection and just collapse all now. This happens because I play with the materials in the selection itself. So this will now just something you have to be careful when you changing your materials to be sure you don't play with those materials the way I did. So but in this way now we have our contrast so I can actually show you guys. What we gonna do here? As you can see here, not here, we have this kind of deformation going on. How can we fix this? Because I like the boobs. Let's say I love the boobs shape, but this deformation is pissing me off. So we have to make some manually work. And to do that, we're gonna go in edge, for example. This is a selection. Okay, so. We're gonna go on edges here. I don't know if you can loop here. There you go. Now we loop the entire thing. We don't want to loop the entire thing. Just take, for example, those ones out. And let's say pull a little bit. Oh. In the eye axis, right over there. Make sure here, when this gets around here, just make sure and then we just select now those two ones and then we pull a little bit more. And then we just select those two ones a little bit more and we keep doing this and now watch it's getting actually better this deformation we were having 
by playing with the segments over here. You can actually now play yourself until it's, you know, until you fix it. Now the segments are deforming a little bit. This is where you have to manually work, at least when you're using this, you know, this technique. Now you just, you know, kind of work your way out until you have what you're looking for. See, it's getting starting to look at it. I'm not going to go into very detail here, but you know, just fix, even if you have to pull a little bit this ones over here, up here, you know, fix this. And in the middle over here, if you're happy with the cleavage, let it be. But if you want to add more cleavage, you can actually play with the segments around here as well. This is the way, the fast way of changing the body shape itself. As you can see, we change the boobs, we change the waist, we change the hips, we change the ass very fast, and we even add extra detail on top of it. Now, about the physics, this is exactly the last part. Of course, I'm not going to talk about unwrapping because unwrapping for the body shape itself with no layer body shape actually it's just this. We don't need actually to do nothing. We just need to render on tools, render. Make sure you have the right size and you just render and you have it. This is the default one. This is exactly what it's going to be. Beside this ones over here, we actually there's no seam there, but that makes no difference at all in the movie ma mapping because they're actually connected now. And but if you wanted to fix this, you can actually just come here on the UAV mapping where this green line is, and you just select all those vertex with pressing control. If you cannot see very well, just you can uncheck this. Make sure you're only selecting the ones in the lines, those two ones in the lines. And then right click and well selected. And there you go. Now we have no seam now at all in the leg. The same here over here. I'm gonna do the same over here so you guys can see. we just well selected there you have it and you can do the same over here as well by selecting all those vertex in the green line what this is doing is the mapping is because we weld them in the mesh but the map since the map was done before with them kind of not weld so we have to weld them now in the UV mapping as well this is the only mapping actually you need to do to on your body shape because the rest is exactly what it is. And then right click. Sometimes this happens. It's because probably some window window open or something you have under it that is not letting you well select them. But this is a bug that really annoys people. Annoys me at least. But it's because probably you have a window down and probably because I open the, the the Google Chrome and it's under it and when you have a window under it it actually doesn't work very well it's kind of stupid bug and there you go now render and you should have no seams there and there you go this is all you need to know for the UV mapping of the unwrap you can actually even collapse this now Of course, we have our deformation over here because I had to be smart enough to actually play with the settings over here, but it's alright. We don't need to be perfect. So we can actually see my boobs in green. <laughs> alright. So now with this side, um, we make sure that everything is the same material as well. You need poly the clone material that is in the polygon material is actually of course because of the my playing the body it's if I'm not wrong it's the 8 which I, I, we in the EMV will be the 7 so we want to actually set it to 8 and we actually fixed my green boobies because I was actually enjoying it <laughs> and now that way we have our shape with the right material ID, the 8 and all of it
No. Uh, no, the physics. This is where the trouble comes in from a lot of people. Personally, I hate physics. I don't even know why EMVU is physics. I really don't know why. Skin is so nice for their things, but no, they had to use the physics all the way up. Oh well. So here we are. Physic, physic. So let's start. Um, you don't. You don't actually need to know everything that what happens in physics. So the first thing you need to know though is how this works. Physics. Physics basically works is we have to attach a node. In this case, the node we need to attach. It's the pelvis node that we actually don't have it here, so let's turn it off. Get out of our isolation mode. And with this selected, we can actually put on our pelvis node. Here we have. Don't change any checks, just initialize. So this is so we have an idea what. Now, if we play the animation, as you can see, we, everything is kind of broken. Because he, 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 he calculated. I'm going to show you the envelopes of those. I'm going to go in this vision so you see better. As you can see here, the envelopes of those bones. And what envelopes are, it's basically like the force that those bones are going to apply to the vertex on the mesh itself. Which this means is, if I raise, for example, let's say a deformation uh, here. As you can see here, just gonna show you how this physics works because we're not gonna actually do our own physics that much. I'm gonna actually help you guys you know, on that. Um, as you can see over here, if we press the envelope, or in this case, I think it's a bishop, and if we raise the force that both of them are applying, for some reason, oh, for some reason they're not. Growing up as they're supposed to. Oh, because this is a <laughs> oops, this is a strength. Just this is a power that they are pulled. This is not what we want to. We want to go on the radial scale, and if we raise the scale, that l l look what's happening is by raising the scale of the bishop, it means I'm giving more room for the vertex around. The, in this case, the bishop to be actually be pulled to the bishop itself. As I raise this, bigger, it's actually start pulling even you know everything that is on range. This is how physics or actually any kind of envelope actually works. Uh, by raising the force of the bone you're actually looking at, it will start grabbing the mesh itself around here. Now we grab this case the shoulder, and you know by raising this up, we start. This is what physics does. This is what you need to put in your head how things work. I'm actually gonna give you, you, you will be able to download a file that I will give you guys. That will help you a lot in your, at least in the beginning of your physic. You know, because I already have one that basically is alright. Physic is not ba so bad, but you have to still make your own custom physic, of course, a little bit for your own work, and I'm gonna show you that. And there you go, this is how physics works. And those vertex, right now, as you can see in physics, this is something you have to understand as well, they are, you know, they are unlocked, they are free. Let's say they are free, they have a cross, they are free. And you can actually, you know, lock those vertex, and it becomes like a box, as you can see. And this is where you manually type the force that that vertex is going to apply. In this case, applying 100 or 100, it's the max force applying to the bicep itself. And you can actually, for example, up make this vertex apply a little bit to the elbow as well. For example, if I pull this out, as you can see the vertex start moving because I'm applying a new force to it. I'm making it drag to the elbow and losing a little bit to the bicep. As you can see, it goes up because you know it's pulling up to the elbow itself. This is another way of working with physics. It's this lock section. All right. This is what I think you should know about physics for now. Oh, of course, you have the bulge. 
what bulge is is the way that you know the deformation actually works as you can see here the deformation you will see the difference after when the MV applying you will see the deformation deformation is you know the way the bulge is and I will really would not going to teach you guys how to work with this besides knowing this basic that I just told you when the sending those what I'm going to show you guys it's you, you you will be able to download from here body shapes there will be a file there that I'm going to use it right over here it will help you make your meshes mesh uh, better so with that file when you have that file when we get to the physics what the button you're going to press is this one one open physics and we're going to actually go where, where did I put it? There, physics. Then we select the file there. We're going to press. Just do exactly like this. All links with everything select. Press OK. There you have it. Now let's see what happened with this physics that I'm going to give you guys. What happened is. It's already pretty good, as you can see here. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, this is the physics I work with. And I'm gonna share it to you guys, there's no problem, but now, this is the thing, if you are encountering problems around those areas or any place, to fix those problems, I'll show you guys over here my envelope. So as you can see here, I play with them free, they're all basically free, 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 free everywhere. But I have locked the vertex around, of course, the very messy area on EM view. This area is where you keep tweaking. Every time you come here, you keep tweaking it. This bet how many times you come here, you will never stop tweaking the deformation of the S itself. Now, if you have too much deformations, you then come here and you apply them. When you see, you come here and type in wave, 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 or whatever. And remember, when you're playing with the right leg, you want to make sure you're playing with the right settings, right side bones. And you can play those values, you know, one by one, fix them the way you want them. The locked ones. Now, about the free ones, this ones over here, the free ones, you play them by using the envelopes. You grab the bone you want. As you can see, I'm grabbing the shoulder over there, right shoulder. And you play with this. I'm going to show you example, I don't know, some deformation. Uh, the hell, show me something. Okay, fine, this, fine. And you raise over here, as you can see, starting to pull, you play with this. Now, something you need to know, there is a red line. This is the inner force, and this is the outside, basically, range. Th let's consider it's a range. This is the inside. Everything that's going to be inside of it is going to be absolute to the shoulder. It's going to be pushing very hard to the shoulder. Everything that is in here is applying a oh, is a oh too many is applying like a less force, a less force than the red applies. And you can actually play with both of them. You have the over here. I highlight this selections of here. You have the both top that we were using before. You have the outer that is going to use this uh, one over here. That is outer force. And then you have the inner force. It's going to apply this one over here. So what with this side is, for example, as you can see here, those vertex have different colors, as you can see right over here. Red means absolute, means it's going to move with the shoulder anywhere it goes. Doesn't matter what happens. You know, it goes from red, I don't remember the order correctly, but you know, the last color, you know, red is the beginning, and then the color that goes more far away, in this case we have this kind of blue over here means it's going to be less effective it's going to be have less force on this blue than it has for example on this green on this yellow and of course on the reds the color tells you the force that the envelope is actually applying to and you can actually change that for example you have the outer over here by raising this is the rate this is how far you want your outer to reach this is the parent overlay overlap which means this with the parent it's you know, as you can see, I don't know if you can see very well. But as you can see over here, this is actually going inside the clavi clavicle bone, which means like the overlapping of the other bone. 
and you have the child of course that will be overlapping the bishop in this case you know the outer range of the bishop and then we can do the same things you know, we are, we're not actually see better over here as you can see over here the parent as you can see uh, while I'm uh, raising up the value of the parent overlap is actually going to grab more you know force inside of the other force bone in this case the clavicle force but so that's why I want to keep them right around there the red one not gonna play too much with the red one but just play until you know if you find some deformations fix them by playing with this settings the envelope settings in the crosses vertex which is the free selection vertex the deformable vertex not the rigid vertex now I think with that said now I'm gonna show you the bolt I told you before as you can see the bolt changed a lot from the other one as you can see here the bolt is kinda different the other bolt we had around here we didn't have this cylinder bolt over there this is actually the way the things are getting applied over here this is changed the way that the mesh deforms itself as the bolt it's different either as well so that's something you have to check out but in this case we won't be needing to change the bolt because the bolt will stay the same no matter what for example in this what I did in this shape as well I locked the boobs area Wh what I did here I locked the boobs so wh with this say what it means is they will only move in this case I think it's the spine for exactly and a little bit force probably along the tree down there so w what this means is those vertex why do I do that I like to do this on my meshes is so it doesn't you know there's avatars that deform the shape over here or even some poses that deform the boobs itself you know they, they start getting like you know a little bit scratch scratched you know deforming and this way when we lock those to only one bone in this case was the bone f spine 4 it's a bone right over here when we lock them what happened is they will not deform they will always stay the same position so we, our boobs always look the same but remember this comes with some problems uh, but not very important problems around over here if the spine 4 does a movement too strong that you know down you know pushing the chest against uh, uh, to the waist probably there will be some gapping over here not the gapping but you know it won't move around here so it will be like a little bit deformed but not something to worry about this is the only problem we can actually find besides that I don't think there's any problem with having the boobs like this uh, only good things I recommend always locking the vertex of your boobs to the spine 4 okay I think that's pretty much it about the shape and the physics pay very attention to these areas obviously they deform like mad and don't try to make something perfect perfect in it's complicated just make something look almost perfect looks nice there will all be some vertex crazy going everywhere or up and down doesn't matter just make sure it doesn't deform too much and it's smooth but not perfect because you know don't try to make the perfect rig because not gonna happen at least for this guy's in view without using the skin <laughs> modifier physics really boring to work with physics these areas now here they're locked play with them when we play with them make sure around these areas uh, let me just make sure we cannot get around these areas over here make sure you apply some force that pulls them a little bit to this hip over here so you know the more center around here they have to have forces that pull them to the hip to hip so they don't deform that much if you want to fix some of these details make sure you pull them on the right le uh, this left hip make sure you apply some forces not too much to the you know left hip so when you move the hip itself it will as you can see it will uh, you know stay in the position there because he's pulling there and he's pulling there so it kind of gets stuck in the you know kind of stuck in th the weight of it you know so it's applying the force this side he's pulling this side and pulling this side so the vertex stay in the correct place always of course always make sure that when you're the vertex in this area for example you're not supposed to have you know anything related to this area so this vertex in this area is supposed only to have things related to this area 
for example, this kinetic is spine 3 or 2, I don't re quite remember. So this vertex is supposed to have spine 3 and maybe a little bit of spine 2 that comes in around over here so it doesn't deform that much. I'm really talking about a lot because you have to understand a little bit about physics before working with physics. And that's pretty much it. Now remember, this file that I upload in the physic, right over here, open physic, I'm gonna be it's gonna be here to download in the body shape section. There will be that you can actually download it. I, it's mine, so you can free use it. I it's the physic that I did to my work, and you'll be able to use it as your own free will. Now what can we say now? Let's export this for EMView. Now we have the physics. Now with the physics champ, we actually want to now select the entire body shape. And we want to set ID, for example, let's say 13. Actually, I think 13 has something in there. I don't know what it is, but no. But then why are we having this? Uh oh, because we don't have... Uh, okay, now we have to set the number. Actually, we could have actually make tw 12. Yeah, the 12 will be... No, actually we have... No, there you go, 12. So in here, just copy this color. Make sure you paste it. Uh, let's change this to... In this case 12, set ID 12, now we have it. Now make sure the name convention, we have like something like here, body shape. And since there's 12, here we're going to have 11 inside of those combos things. Uh, I don't know how to say this in English, sorry. <laughs> those kind of square, square thingies there. And body shape eleven. There we have it. Now the the body. Hit, what we need to we actually need to. I'm just gonna fast unwrap over here. And go on and delete parameters. Parameters and map the tools. Uh, render UV template. Make sure I have two five six five one twelve. You can actually fill this if you want to. You can put, for example, a solid fill with this color over here. That's great. And to give them a, a, a better look. Um, now uh, save image. We save it, I'm going to save it in my desktop, I'm going to save it as one, for example, you can save it as everything you want. Uh, close it, close it, close it, over here in the material, diffuse. We go to here, and we have here our body shape. Now we show in viewport, so we can see everything is looking good. Yeah, we have our shape over here. Now, all we need to do is... We can actually make sure, always make sure that you have the physic on top of everything else. I don't know, it's just a precaution. You don't actually need to have the unwrap over here. I'm just, you let, let, let it be, but you can actually collapse it and after, uh, after you render it, you can actually collapse and just have the physic over there. Now, let's just say I select the shape itself. I go here to export. You have to have the exporters, of course, but you are you're already supposed to know that. I'm gonna, uh, on the desktop, and I'm going to save as tutorial body shape dot xmf. Now I'm using this is because I I was working on furniture item, so make sure you were using the skeleton of the female weight master over here. Make sure you're using the skeleton. And we press next, next. Now we just wait for it to finish exporting. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always come to me, uh, ask me. I'm always available. I, I, I love to help and teaching, to be honest. Uh, it's always fun to me. Now we finish. Now let's go back to our game view. Now we go on Create tab. Now we go to the Ravni product. Say female top. We have here our baby tea yellow top. We press OK. I don't know if it's taking so long. OK, there you go. Now, there we have. Now, what we do is we add XMF. In this case, I put it over here to the body shape XMF. And I actually apply changes. 
Now, this is happening. Why this is happening? This is happening because we have to go on config. And we have this is the part that we want to override, like like is exactly saying over there. So if I'm not wrong, I think it's six, seven, and five. And there you go. We want to override those parts with our mesh. There we have it. Now if we go on mesh, we go on here. Oopai, the number one is our, and there you have it. Your well, this is happening because of the map, this blackness, and you know it's because we put this gray thingy. But there you go. This is a body shape itself. You can actually now test this out. By, for example, with the body shape on, you can go to your, you know, outfit sh outfit thingies, apply this. I'm going to just apply this woman outfit I have up here. There you go. And we can actually see how our physics is working. And as you can see, it's working, it's working pretty well for me. I think it's working pretty good. We have, we have <laughs> this huge boobs, front boobs, this ass. Actually, the ass looks pretty good. There you go. This is how you make body shape itself. And on the next videos I'm gonna probably teach you guys how to how to make layers for this particular shape that we did on this tutorial and we're gonna have some fun. And something to remember of uh opacity map, don't put anything in there. Okay? But if you want to put that everything don't make sure when someone asks you, I I'm having trouble with opacity in the layers, but it's because they need to have different names convections, even in the textures. Because you're the measure, when you apply the first texture, make sure you have different names for everything, alright? So we don't have these problems then after. So with this said, make sure you have skin composite on when you apply and save your work. So you don't have any problems at all when, for example, when someone is opacitating, uh, the skin actually shows up and not, you know, a black hole. And after that said, save, upload, and there you go. I hope you had fun, because I did, and I see you next one.